Hello, welcome to Medium Meows. I'm Teddy, and I just saw Five Nights at Freddy's. So I'm guessing the security guard from the beginning did not make it out alive. Is he a ghost? That mask was terrifying. I thought I was going to Five Nights at Freddy's, not the next Saw movie. I was so on edge, the sound of his flashlight scared me. The sound of his flashlight. I jumped. I could tell from the beginning that Mike was having some issues, but he's supposed to be in charge of people's safety. While protecting the people at the mall, Mike hallucinates his abducted brother, tackles a man he thought was stealing that kid and pulverizes this guy's face. That was that kid's dad. He did it right in front of him. Mike, you are fired. Mike and his story is definitely known around town. After losing his job, Mike goes to a temp agency to try to find new work and only ends up with a new job because of his history. Not his job history, his terrible trauma-filled past. That guy definitely knows him and I am not getting good vibes. Mike should know something's up. He should realize. So, you heard my story, I can tell by the way you're acting. This temp agency worker looks like he's done some terrible things. Like, literally terrible. What scared me the most? That bobblehead balloon boy. Jump scare freaky crazy! I like the video that Mike has to watch. The training video. It really sets up the world that we're in. Like, something's wrong. Why is everyone acting like this? Are they supposed to be super creepy? Are you a hostage? Are you one of the missing kids? I feel like there should have been something like that in the beginning of this movie. Like, pull us deep into this lore. I think one of the funniest parts in this movie is his aunt's lawyer. He's like, uh, I'm just figuring out that I shouldn't be hearing any of this. And I'm representing a crazy person. I gotta get out of here. Mike's pretty smart. He was already trying to find his brother and his brother's killer abductor by using his dreams, trying to access past memories to figure out what really happened. His new job is triggering even deeper lucid dreaming, and he's gonna do anything he can to control his dreams and figure it out. Who are these kids he's seeing and can they help? One of the scariest things, I tried to block this out, in his dream sequence, the kid with the black eyes? Creepy. How does this world work? Through Mike's lucid dreaming, he was attacked by these kids. They stabbed him and his injury carried over into his waking life. Why isn't Mike suspicious of this cop? He didn't tell her a thing. Can't he see she's acting crazy? She definitely has more to do with this. Every time that bobblehead balloon boy is on screen, ah, so scary. Literally gets me every time. So Abby is psychic? She can communicate with the dead, know things she's not supposed to know, and access memories that aren't hers. How powerful is she? There has to be more possessed characters, more animatronics, and who's in Balloon Boy? And after the credits, who's that talking? I'm assuming Assuming Mike and Abby's aunt is dead, so they don't have to worry about the legal proceedings, but they do have to worry about the body in their living room. Maybe the missing brother is the bobblehead, but that would mean he's dead. Is the brother alive? We never figured that out. Since he wasn't one of those ghost children, he could still be alive. There were other animatronics in other rooms, but... I don't think he's dead. This is a great start of a franchise. It did a pretty good job of setting up this world. Since it was set in the past, there could be many more movies to come. I'd give this movie about a 70%. There's much more that could have been done. I want to be more scared. I want to be screaming. There should be some blood. Some of these scenes went by too fast. Just bring in some more horror elements. Much more jump scares. More scary the whole time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you after your next movie.